All right, welcome back. And now, the big story of the day. I'm telling you, this one's going to get Martino pretty fired up. It gets me fired up, too, because I feel the same way with him. Kobe is struggling in L.A., as everyone in the world probably knows. But, as I said, keyword, Kobe is struggling in L.A., Taken 10 for 23 the last night, going off for 24 points. But, yeah, you know, I want to bring up Melo does this a lot. Yeah, Melo, Melo's one of the uh, – he's the one player that comes up that he's always going 10 for 23, 15 for 40 if it comes to it, but he's scoring points. But when it comes to a guy like Kobe, a guy who says I'm 100%, a guy who says our team's going to be good, a guy who has to lead by example, he's doing by far the worst job I have ever seen. Of being a leader of any team. Any team whatsoever. He's being the stereotypical Kobe Bryant that everyone talks about. Okay? Pretty much. Every time you see a meme or anything on the internet, it's always, Oh, Kobe, pass the ball. Why would I pass the ball? And it's showing this year. And it's pissing me the hell off because this guy is complaining about it. He's complaining about the Lakers record. He's 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 just he's just being a big whiny baby. And you know what, Kobe, your team wouldn't be in this situation if you weren't so selfish, okay? Who takes two years for what what he had uh he's taking twenty five million dollars a year? Oh. Are you serious? You don't deserve that. <laughs> you do not deserve that, Kobe. I'm sorry. I don't care it's... how many points you're putting up, right? Let's put this into comparison. When Michael Jordan, he's not even putting when, up when, enough points. When Michael Jordan was dropping thirty five points a game in his third or fourth year into the league, guess what his field goal percentage was, Chris? Guess. I would guess uh fifty three percent. Yeah, fifty three percent. 53%. That's ridiculous. Having 50% field goal percentage for a shooting guard is fantastic. Let alone he's scoring 35 points a game, all right? And it's 53%. That's 3% higher than 50, okay? Right. Kobe, just to put it in perspective, Kobe is averaging 27.5 points a game this year, all right? Guess what Kobe Bryant's field goal percentage is? I'd say about 40, 40 maybe? No, not even 40. It's 38% from the oh, field. Oh, God. Are you serious? And Kobe Bryant has the balls to get pissed off at everybody on his team. Oh, I don't like the shots you're taking. Really, Kobe? So let's go what just happened the other night when you're playing the New Orleans Pelicans. 10 of 28 from the field. You're taking 11 threes, all right? That's 35% from field goal percentage, all right? He makes eight rebounds. He only has five assists, four rebounds. You're having the ball in your hand that much. You better do a better job than that. And they don't even win. They lose. And they're losing by seven. Their record is one and seven right now. The only team they've beaten is Charlotte. And Charlotte's like a new team. They're trying to figure everything out down there. I understand that. But it's still, in that game, he goes seven to 20 from the field. All right? The only time he's had a decent field goal percentage is when he shot 44% from the field when he took 25 shots against the Phoenix Suns. But they lost by 20 against them. All right? First opening night, he goes 6 of 17. After that, it's 6 of 15, 12 of 8, 28. Okay, then the big 39 point game. Everyone's like, oh, Kobe's back. Kobe's back. You know what he shot in that game? 14 of 37. It took him 37 shots to get the 39 points. He almost had more field goals attempted than he did shots and um, points made. Okay, are you serious, Kobe? And then he goes, it comes 12, a point, Kobe. You gotta lay line. off, man. You're gonna have to lay off. And he You're has the audacity to, to rip his teammates. He he's just gonna go off and like, oh, you know what? I don't like the shot selection they're taking. You know what, Kobe? We don't like the shots you're taking in general. You're taking too many shots, Kobe. This is the exact Kobe we were talking about when Phil Jackson left. Kobe Bryant is not even half the player he is in the triangle offense when it's not there. Kobe right now he's just a glorified ball hog with a crap shooting percentage. I don't care what Kobe's done. Kobe was not the best player on his three championship teams. He was lucky enough that Kevin Garnett got hurt. That first ring he got with Pau Gasol that they couldn't even play the Celtics in that finals. Then Kendrick Perkins goes down. He tears his MCL, PCL, everything in his knee. He blows out his knee. Kobe shoots 7 of 24 in that game 7. But yeah, Kobe, Kobe. Uh, some people have the audacity saying he's better than Jordan. Get the hell out of here. No. Don't you ever no. dare say that. Don't you oh, ever dare say on. that. Kobe, I have a hard time fitting Kobe in the top 10. I really do sometimes. You, you I can't, do. though. You can't. Get out of here. The guy has one MVP. 
You cannot compare him to Michael Jordan. I mean, I you want to compare Jay- it to Michael Jordan? Let me break. Let me. I'll bring something up right now. Let's bring up Jordan's stats from the '95 playoffs, right? Let's just bring up the points. He '95 had playoffs. The yeah, '95 no playoffs. '95 playoffs. Uh, this is important, guys. This is his first season back in the NBA. He. This is. This is when he just came back. Two weeks. He dropped 55 in his first game. Let, let, his let, first let, two weeks in the let, league, he drops 55. Let's on check the out. Let's check out this the playoffs, playoffs from 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 beginning. Not beginning. To just end. came out of retirement. This is from April 28th to May 18th, right? This is. ESPN.com. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go. All right. First game, 48 points. Then 32, 25, 24, 19. All What's right. Field goal percentage. 38. Oh, we're talking high. We're talking 40 percent. Where's the field goal percentage here? It's 56, 52 for the first two games. Ridiculous. When he scored 48 and 32. Ridiculous. Then he goes off a couple games later. He goes 38, 40. Those games on top of that, 56 percent and 48 percent. Then you got 39. 26 and 24 in the next three games. I mean, the guy is consistently performing that's why at, he's the greatest. High, that's why he's at the, the greatest. highest level. That's why he's the greatest. I mean, and it's, not, it's not a comparison. Four or five of these games, he's had, he doesn't miss free throws. We're talking about six rebounds a game, eight, seven plus assists a game. It's, it's, something, it's, it's, it's annoying me to this point. You can't compare Kobe it's to him. It's a stupid Laker it's fan voice. It's, it's what it's been. It's what it's always been. And Kobe's always been a complainer. You forget when, before they got Pau Gasol, he was like, oh, trade me, trade me, trade me, trade me, trade me. Blah, blah, blah. You're a baby. What other star does this? You never see LeBron doing this. You never see D-Wade. Okay? You never see Elijah one. Okay? MJ. Magic. Bird. Russell. Will Chamberlain. You never heard of this. You never heard of this. The guy's the biggest baby in sports history. I'm sick and tired of his crap. Okay, I cannot wait to the day Kobe Bryant is gone in the league. Whatever. The, Kobe Bryant the, is a fantastic player. He's a hard worker, but he's a big baby. And you know what? I don't want a guy with that attitude on my team. And the only reason why he's had a successful career like this is because Phil Jackson's been his coach the whole career. And that's it. And if it wasn't for Phil Jackson, Kobe Bryant wouldn't even have the legacy he does have now. Oh. And that's all I got to say about that. Let's take a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath. Oh, God. Well, that's it for our show for today. Iona vs. Cleveland State tonight. Don't miss it. It's going to be the best game of the year probably. Go, girls, go. Other than the Indiana State later on. But that's next week. We'll bring up highlights for the week in college basketball and bring you a couple of highlights from the soccer leagues around the European area. But that's about it. We'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks for listening. Thanks, everybody. Oh, and shout-out to my mom in Brooklyn. <laughs>